This one looks strong. Everyone, be careful. Walking away. Useless. It's over. More power. The outer shell are working. I'll try to break it. Uh, check me. Got it. Yeah. Now's the time to use it. I made your other. This will be tricky. Yuito should be heading this way, too. I'll weaken this thing until he joins me. <laughs> My head feels clear. How's that? I'll track you down and kill you. Go! I feel... Yuito! SAS still seems to be down. That still didn't do it? I need to watch him closely to sync up with him when the time is right. was a close one. It was? I wasn't really all that worried. I assumed you would act when you did. <laughs> I was nervous. I guess we can work together even without SAS. I don't think I could have pulled it off with someone else. Thank you for getting the timing right. <laughs> it's nice to hear a compliment from you. You're always so harsh. Am I? Well, whatever. Let's make our way to the top. You get a good view of New Himuka from up here. So what did you want to talk to me about? I wanted to ask you about your plans after all the fighting is over. That's a difficult question. How about you? What are you thinking? I have a vague idea. It might be too grand, so you'll probably laugh. I won't laugh, no matter what it is. Thanks. I... want to change the world. Change the world? Yeah. We've both seen a lot of bad things in this country. The world that we live in now is built on so much sadness and sacrifice. That's true. Suo, Seiron, and Togetsu. There were people suffering everywhere. So many people's lives were turned upside down because of the desire for the strongest power, or using powers to alter time. It's got to end. This world can't exist just for powers. That's why I want to change the world. To make it a place where people don't have to rely on powers for everything. I know it will take a long time, but I feel like as a dud, I'm the perfect person for it. A dud, that's right. How's your head? They were saying you might lose your power. No big change at the moment, but if it really comes down to it, I'm prepared to become one again. You're pretty calm about it. The way you were talking, I thought you would be a little depressed. I mean, it will be inconvenient. But you know what? I'm not the least bit afraid. I thought the same thing when the network went down. Like I was fighting back to back with you, even without SAS. You thought the same thing? I wonder if that's what it feels like to lose your power. We're not just connected by SAS. Even if we can't see each other's faces or hear each other's voices, the most important thing, our connection, doesn't go away. So I'll be alright. That's good. When we first met, I honestly thought I wouldn't be able to count on you in a fight. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling you thought that. But you're different now. I think you really can change the world. 
thank you. Don't mention it. I'm relieved as well. I feel like I can leave this world to you. Leave? What are you planning to do? Well, I haven't decided on a clear goal yet. But I've sort of been thinking of something outside this world. Like, outside of New Himuka? You mean the moon? I've been thinking about it ever since I heard humanity came here from the moon. Outside this world is another world that I know nothing about, filled with people who are a mystery to me. They're suffering, just like the people here. They are attacked by others, and turning into them. Once I realized that, I couldn't ignore it. I thought maybe I could help somehow. The moon... I thought I understood the first time I heard about it. But the scale is just too big. It doesn't seem real at all. I certainly never thought about saving the people that live there. You really are amazing. I'm not amazing at all. I just don't want to regret neglecting the people I could have protected. My sister always watched over me. She protected me all my life. Now it's my turn to watch over someone else. I always felt that you were the kind of person that would step up to protect people, even if you're alone. It's almost as if you're not afraid of anything. I looked up to you when I was a kid. I wanted to be just like you. I think you're plenty like me. And you're giving me too much credit thinking I'm never afraid. As you said before, the most important connections never go away. You mean Naomi? Not just her. The memories of my mother, and the time I spent with all of you. The only reason I'm not as afraid as I should be is because I know they'll always be with me. I know that they'll always be here, inside my heart. So, even if you're alone, you're never really alone? I kinda like that. That's why I feel like I can go anywhere, even going beyond the sky. <laughs> I know that sounds like a dream. I think you can do it. No. I know you can. Thank you. So, it looks like you and I will be going our separate ways. It won't just be us. I think everyone will find their own path and slowly drift farther apart. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said it didn't make me sad. But even apart, we're still friends. Yeah. Okay. We should probably get back to the hideout. There's so much to do before and after a fight. We just have to take care of what's in front of us. Though listening to you made me excited for the future. It won't be easy for either of us, so let's do our best. Both in our own places. Absolutely. I promise I'll make a better future, no matter how long it takes. You can take your time, but if you take too long, I'll bring peace to the moon and come back before you're done. Oh, so it's a competition now. I know you hate to lose. Wait, I have something I wanted to give you. Here, will you accept this? This is for me? This is an ear cuff. Did you make this? Yeah. This ear cuff always protected me, so I wanted to give you something that would protect you, too. Oh, it doesn't have any memory-saving functions, but it can act as a good luck charm. Or rather, a charm to protect your memories. Thank you. It's beautiful. I'll treasure it. I'm glad you like it. I just really wanted to give it to you. You've been someone I admire. Both an ally and a friend. I can't sum it up in just one word. What I can say about you, though, is that there isn't anyone like you. I guess it makes sense. You wouldn't have many friends who attempted to end your life. <laughs> you bring up a good point. Although, you did save my life when we first met. I guess that just happened for you, though. You mean when you were a child? I can't believe you remember my face from so many years ago. Yeah, I never forgot. I remember everything. 
It almost feels imprinted at this point. Something told me that this is the face of someone who would save me. That's how happy I was. It gives me strength whenever I think about it. It makes me believe that I have someone on my side out there. <sighs> and I want to be that person for you. That's what I want you to think of when you look at that ear cuff. No matter where you are or what it is you're going through, I will always be on your side. And you can count on that. Yes. I'll never forget that. Okay. Well, I gave you everything I wanted to. Let's head back to the hideout now. I'll go back a little later. You go on ahead. Ah, got it. Then I'll see you back at the hideout. Everything is so vast. The sky, the field. You can almost get lost in it. It's okay. I can do this. Wherever I am, even if I'm alone. Now, let's go. Thank you so much! I said how much we counted on you before, but I've started to think recently that it can't just be like that. What do you mean? You'll get tired if everyone keeps leaning on you. I want to support you, too. We're friends. I might not be able to replace Naomi. But I feel like I can become something for you, like what Baki is to me. <laughs> You're such an idiot. But thank you. I look forward to it. I'm glad we're together like this. Thanks for being a part of my life. Me too. I can't believe I feel this way about you now. Thank you. I have something to tell you, Kasane. I guess more of a confession. I... It takes me some time to truly trust a person. 
So, I may have been appraising you a bit when we first met. Are you saying you trust me now? Yes, of course. I trust you as a friend. I hope we can continue this way. <laughs> I'm so happy. It feels like we become closer. Me too. I feel close to you. Maybe we just learned a lot about each other. This is very nice. Really? Thanks. Kasane, I'm only going to say this once, so listen close. Why do you look so serious? Hmm? Well, I act like this normally, but there are some things I really don't want to lose. You're one of those things. Because you're my friend. You can count on me if you're in trouble, okay? <laughs> that was kind of heavy. But I mean it. It's not like me to say this, but thanks for having a connection with me. <laughs> it really isn't like you. I'm glad we have a connection too. You have a good eye. This is very nice. Okay. Really? I'm so happy.
You know what I like. Thanks. You've helped me out so much, Kasane. Which reminds me, I did say I'd pay you back. I wasn't expecting you to actually do anything, so it's fine. Just let me pay you back. Kasane, thank you for everything. Saying thank you was paying me back? <laughs> That's just like you. Right? I really put my all into that one, so I'm good for the next hundred years. I'm looking forward to your help again. Nobody can stand up to us when we work together. It's so much easier. That goes for the both of us. I'm not scared of anything either, as long as I have you with me. Wow, I'm so happy. This is for me? Sure. Hey, I'm grateful. This is very nice. Grateful. This is for me. This is amazing. Thank you.
Thank you. This is amazing. Thank you. Thanks. This is for me? This is for me? This is for me? Kasane, I know it's kind of weird to be saying it again, but I'm really grateful for you. 
I've been constantly looking at the past lately. But now, I'm excited to see the future you're going to forge. There will be some hard battles ahead. I just want you to know that I will give you every ounce of strength I have. Thank you, but I don't think strength is something given. It's shared. You have me as well. Yeah, you're right. And you better believe I'll take you up on that. In exchange, I'll be there to be your shield. I'll protect you, no matter what. Thank you. That's reassuring. Of course, I promise to protect you as well. than I am, so it's strange that we can talk like this. I don't think we're that different. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'd be happy if we could keep being friends. This is amazing. Thank you. 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 You've helped me so much, in battle and personally. I'd like to thank you for that. I'm glad we met and fought together. If I hadn't met you, I think my life would be very different. It's a little too soon to thank me. We still have a lot to do. You're right. We must work together to accomplish our task. I 
believe you and I are on the same page. Do you feel the same way? Yes. It feels so natural coordinating with you. It's almost strange. I finally heard from Major General Fubuki. He asked us to head to Sumeragi Tomb right away. Apparently, the Chief will be there. Kaito... Actually, what's my brother's status now? He's still the Acting Chief, but most of his authority has been transferred and no one has seen much of him lately. My guess is that the government is going to make him take the fall for everything and abandon him. The Chief might have decided to help us because he knows that's what they're going to do. As long as he helps us, it's fine. Now let's head to Sumeragi Tomb. Kaito. So you finally made it. You want inside the Sumeragi tomb, correct? Right. In order to close the Kunad gate, there's something we need to check inside the tomb. If Karin really is inside, then he is the key to closing it. If, huh? Not only is everything circumstantial, it doesn't sound very credible either. Is this really what you choose to stake everything on? Very well. If you do indeed manage to save the world, it will reflect quite nicely on the Sumeragi name. Is that all that matters? Hanabi, it doesn't matter what he says, as long as he helps us. I've disabled the security for the entrance. Close the Kunad gate. I heard you stopped Togetsu's plan. You managed to avenge her. You did what I had set out to do. So, you knew about Mom's death? Dad and I. We vowed that we'd destroy Togetsu one day. This isn't what I imagined. But it looks like Dad and I got our wish. Kaito. Go. Do what you need to do. This is the path you've chosen. Thank you. Yakumo Sumeragi should be sleeping in here. Let's find out whether our theory was right. If it's actually the former Major General that traveled to the past. So this is what it's like inside Sumeragi tomb. I thought it'd be gloomier since it's a tomb. Yakumo's got a good thing going here. We need to go down. Those stairs go all the way down. I don't think there's any danger to worry about. Let's take them. I don't see any other way down. Yuito, Kazane. Major General Fubuki said he'd join you too. Should we go meet him? No.
No, he said he can't head there right away, so he'll meet up with you later. Copy that. We'll go on ahead then. These stairs just go on and on! Ugh, what a pain! What's up with this place, Yuito? What? How's this my fault? I mean, it's your family's tomb, right? Install an elevator at the very least, sheesh. Good job. Pretty sure you've reached the bottom floor. Oh, we finally made it. Looks like there's only a single path from here. There's a big space up ahead. That's probably where Yakumo is sleeping. I guess we just need to move forward. I was worried it might be a maze in here to prevent grave robbing. Stay on your toes. Just because nothing's happened so far doesn't mean that it... I just felt something in my brain. What? I didn't feel anything. What's going on? What's happening? Signal is deteriorating. Wataru. Damn. We lost the transmission. Where are we? Is this Suo's OSF headquarters? How did we get here all of a sudden? Oh, maybe there was some sort of teleportation trap. Just calm down and take a better look around you. Something doesn't seem quite right. The city looks a little off. This feeling... I remember it from before. Are we inside a brain field? That is certainly a possibility. Since I felt something interfere with my brain, this could be a measure to confuse intruders. Or... Others! This is what happened when we went to the Kronos Terminal. Get ready to fight! The two of us can do this! Aim for a tweak. I'll do it. Check. Fought. We did it. It'll take too long to chip away at its shell. Just use psychokinesis and hit it with something heavy. It's over. Just on it. Let's finish this. There's nowhere to run. Seems like we managed to kill all the others around here, but our situation hasn't improved much. We haven't been able to reach Haruko or Wataru either. We should... huh? Karin? Ta-da! As of today, Alice Ichijo is now an official member. Congratulations, Alice. The three of us are together again. It also seems like we have a mission for our new platoon. I'm going to show you two who the real star member is. I just hope the newbie's over-enthusiasm doesn't make her do something reckless. Oh, really? You know, I heard a certain somebody got written up for disobeying orders. Fabuki. <laughs> I mean, that was your 50th write-up. That's quite the milestone. How could I not share it? They say you're a shoe in for Septentrion, Karin, but I guess you've got some issues with your superiors. I don't intend to follow orders I don't agree with. <laughs> That's so like you. Oh, I guess that just means you'll have to climb to the top of the OSF. Sounds like too much trouble. I'm not interested in looking after people weaker than me. Fubuki can do all that instead. <laughs> you say that, but you always look after your friends in the end. You're usually more helpful than I am. I think you're more suited to run things than me. Actually, I bet you're really gunning for the position. Stop trying to hide it. <laughs> You've been gunning for the top position from the very beginning. <sighs> Listen to the two of you. Honestly, just take the top two positions and you're all set. That's a good idea. 
If we take the current organization and break them into regiments, ooh. <laughs> Stop with the creepy laugh. Don't worry, I don't do it in front of anyone else. You'd do so much better in life if you just learned how to have an outside persona. Not having a facade is one of Karn's better qualities. Although, it wouldn't hurt you to learn to have one so you wouldn't get written up so much. What did we just see? Major General Fubuki. And Karin, right? And Aunt Alice? Oh, right. She was your aunt. The three of them were childhood friends. That brought back some memories. Funny, I had forgotten the color of Karin's hair back then. Now it's completely different from Luca's. That's right. It's a pretty rare phenomenon. So it may have something to do with my brother's powers. That looked like it was from when Alice first entered the Force. That would make it over 20 years ago. If this was a brain field, then I guess it would make sense for it to be affected by someone's memories or emotions. I'm not entirely sure what that was, but first we should figure out how to get out of here. Staying here won't help. Let's see what's up ahead. Scenery mixed in too. The connection is so chaotic. Looks like that's the way the space works. This area must be connected to some other location as well. We're doing this. Let's keep going. Setting the oil on fire is an effective strategy. Useless. Be the spot. 
while it's burning. Now! Let's go! This one's stronger than the rest. Fall back and regroup. Are you all right? Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for saving me. Keep your guard up, idiot. You're right. Sorry. How many times have you saved me now? Nobody's counting. Are you two okay? Good. Looks like you're all right. Yeah, this idiot just messed up again. I handled it. There's the tough act again. You need to take better care of yourself. You're hurt. What? I'm sorry. You got hurt because of me. Let me take a look. <sighs> it's just a scratch. Alice is tired. Stay with her, Fabuki. I'm gonna check on the remaining teams. We'll need to regroup the platoon if we're gonna kill that other. Hey, Karin! <sighs> it's gone. That one also had to do with Karin. 
This field. Maybe it's something he generated. To prevent anyone from getting close to where he's sleeping? Even if that were the case, why show us these memories? I'd think he would rather keep them secret. I agree. My brother doesn't talk about himself much, nor does he like to. The memories are probably mixed in subconsciously. going. Watch out for that other's projectiles. It can cause temporary confusion. 